calculate value of a capped or float floating rate bond so write down a question now let us say one year spot rate is 10 percent one year forward rate one year from now is 12 percent and one year forward rate two years from now 15 percent find out value of a floater with maturity of three years which is reset the coupon payment is reset every year the annual reset face value 1000 one year spot rate 10 percent one year forward rate one year from now 12 percent one year forward rate two years from now 15 percent Maturity of our floater is three years. Floater means a floating rate bond. The reset frequency is annual with a face value of 1000. Find out market value of this particular security. Is it 1000? Huh? 900 and? How did you calculate that? It's reset every year. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyone else? Thousand. Anyone else? Thousand is the answer. Since it's a floating rate bond, we know that on every reset debt, the value has to be at par. So it doesn't matter what is the rate. Instead of twelve, even if this was twenty or two hundred percent, it does not matter because the rate is 200% and coupon is 200% and therefore the value would be always priced at par. Are we fine with this? Now, let us say we have a binomial tree structure like this. The current interest rate or one year spot rate is 5%. One year forward rate one year from now is either 7% or 6%. Then the rates in the subsequent notes seven and a half percent, seven and a half percent, seven point two percent, and eight percent. Now, in this case, face value of floater is thousand with a maturity of three years. find out value of this particular floater is it thousand again yes. yes because on every note your discount rate and coupon payment will match so it would be thousand now a small twist that this floater is a capped floater what is the meaning of capped <laughs> maximum rate it can receive and it is being capped at 7.4 percent now find out what should be the value of this floater yes the maximum it can receive is 7.4 percent
let's assume a face value of thousand. So your market value is nine nine eight point three zero. Okay, I have one answer which is nine ninety eight. Same Prashant. I don't know. You tell me. Nine seventy one point four seven. Okay. Nine nine point seven two. So that's nine ninety seven point two zero. Nine seventy. How much? Nine ninety eight. Nine ninety eight again. Anyone else? Okay. One thousand. Okay. All right. See this now. Couple <coughs> noise. One year forward rate, two years from now, is eight percent at this note. Had there been no cap, the cash flow would have been thousand and eighty. Thousand being the face value, eighty being the coupon. But because of the cap, now the cash flow would be thousand and seventy-four. However, discounting will happen at one point zero eight. In the same fashion, there since there is a cap, thousand and seventy-four is the cash flow, one point zero seven five. Same here, thousand and seventy-four divided by one point zero seven five, and this would be thousand and seventy-two, one point zero seven two. So this value is thousand. Can anyone tell me what is this value? Nine ninety nine point zero six. And how much is this value at the top node? Point four four. So these are the possible values we have. Now this period the coupon would be seven, and since it is less than seven point four, we don't worry about it. So we take average of these two. So nine ninety four point four four plus nine ninety nine point zero six divided by two. This is average value plus seventy divided by one point zero seven. The same fashion nine ninety nine point zero six plus thousand divided by two. Plus sixty divided by one point zero six. How much is this at the top node? And bottom? Point five. Fine. And then average of these two plus fifty discounted at one point zero five. The final answer is coming out to be point three zero. Are we fine here? One more example. Six percent, eight percent, seven percent, nine percent, ten percent, eight and a half percent. Face value is one thousand, and it has a floor of. Seven percent. Find out value of the cap. Maturity of three years. Thousand and nine. Yes, Prince. How much? Nine 
value of this node would be thousand value of this node would be thousand value of this node also be thousand and if you discount backwards this node is thousand this node is thousand the only difference would be that this rate is six but the minimum that is to be given is seven so thousand plus seventy divided by one point zero six was your answer which was thousand and nine is it fine and in that case what is the value of that floater what, sorry what is the value of that floor 9.4 because had it been a straight floater value would have been 1000 since it's higher by 9.03 or 9.3 this is the value of that particular floor so write down this thing a capped floor or capped floater is equivalent to a straight floater <coughs> minus the value of cap and in the same fashion a float floater is equal to a straight floater plus the value of floor and what is the what how is this cap made of what is this composed of it's a series of interest rate call options series of interest rate call options and in the same fashion a floor is made of series of interest rate put options